Hi there, this is an actual review of the Resurrection Remix ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So if you're hacked off with your, I'll just sort of zoom in here a wee bit. Um, if you hacked off with your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and you wanted to get a Note 5 then this um, ROM which um, changes your phone over to um, pretty similar to a Note 5 but the camera and a couple of other things are not up to that standard however it's well worth it so we've got a 5.1.1 lollipop Android OS and um, the actual date of the the ROM that I'm using is um, this month October 2015 and yeah it's a it's a good ROM now what I'm using here to look at the screen is um, the camera on board so we're actually doing a screencast from the phone um, there we go, I'll just go back a wee bit here and a little show you a few things include your main features just sort of scroll through those And one of them I notice here is amazing battery life and I go along with that it really does up your battery life and that was one of the more important features for me and the installation um, there's various um, YouTube videos showing you how to install a ROM so um, download your G apps and the build and make sure you do a full backup of your Samsung if you're going from the original Samsung to a full backup um, using TWRP or whatever it is that you're using and then you do um, a full wipe and factory reset which TWRP does automatically you flash these things and reboot and you're away okay I'll just get rid of the um, camera and we're on to our main screen now this um, ROM is just beautiful that's what I'd like to call it it's fast it's done by a guy that has a pseudonym of um, Lord Echo and he um, he's obviously pretty clued up because he's come up with something that is not too complicated as far as it doesn't have any dross in it it's got all the basics but it's a fast and furious and um, very nice um, implementation of the Android 5.1.1 without giving you heaps of rubbish that um, a stock standard Samsung Galaxy has so Basically what I've done is I've upgraded my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 to a Note 5, albeit with a few little shortcomings. Now I'll tell you what those shortcomings are while I um, just go through a few things here. Um, I've just done two fingers down which brings me to this screen here. Um, you can see I've got the brightness turned down um, and the various functions like so um, if I click on the battery icon I've just had a, almost two days out of it and I've um, started charging it just a while ago and before I did this video I unplugged the charger so I'm getting almost another day of um, of reasonably intensive use um, just in that area there where I'm just touching on my finger now actually I'll bring out the pen um, you can see the pen there and, and the 
the bu bubbly effect is um, just a screen recorder. You don't see the bubbly effect when you're not using the screen recorder. That area there is when I put my phone into airplane mode overnight and it used virtually nothing, kept the same battery level all the way through the night. So that's pretty pretty good. Um, so if if you really um, if if you think battery life is uh, important as I do, um, this is probably the ROM for you. And the way it works is quite astoundingly smart. So you can see um, most of the usage there. Okay, I'll get get back out of that. Now, um, before you do upgrade, um, I'll just go to system here. Um, I strongly suggest that if you're in your Samsung Galaxy original ROM, that you back up your apps using one of these sort of backups here. Um, this one here is an interesting ROM, one, um, ROM settings backup. They claim to be able to restore your desktop and all of that. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to try and restore your Samsung Galaxy original desktop, but if you are going to use the same ROM, um, maybe this is quite a good um, application to use. So, um, notifications. If I close the screen and bring in the screen lock, um, I've got no notifications showing, but normally if there is one, it sort of pops up there, and you just double tap it, and that'll take you to the email or, or whatever it is that you um, are using at the time. Um, the screen layout and the menu, um, the, the, these are, you know, you, you define them basically. Um, as you can see here, I've got a five, five by four. I've got a five by four grid, um, which lets you put heaps of stuff in. So if I click on utils, I've got all of my stuff. You 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 just set that up how you want to. Now, if you go to the apps by pressing that bottom button there, um, and you know the app that you want to go to, like um, Play. Uh, I'll just press P there, and it'll bring up the Play Store there, uh, or Popcorn, or whatever whatever it is that you want. Um, now, shortcomings, that there ain't many, but there are a few, and I've um, suggested that perhaps we can get these sorted out. So one of them is with your Samsung standard, I'm comparing it to your standard Samsung Note. Um, unlike stock, there's no, if, if, if it's switched off and you're charging it, there's no um, charge LED or battery progress indicator. Um, that means that your charger could be switched off and you'd have no idea. Um, not so important for me, but the S Pen users would probably like to have more of the stock features. Um, and all we get on this particular ROM at the moment is just the cursor, this little cursor here without the bubbles. And if you touch on something, it, it sort of um, happens like touch on um, Viber. And it happens. I'm back out of that. Um, so, to summarise, the developer, um, Lord Echo, has done a great job on this installation. It's very easy to install. It's got a great interface. Battery life is superb. Um, and, yeah, um, the, the next step for me is I'm going to be trying another ROM called Phronesis when they bring out their version 3 to compare it with this one but um, in reality this has been quite a significant upgrade for me from the standard stock ROM of um, 
Samsung Note 3, bringing it up to um, a, not a Note 5, but um, with lots of the functions from the Note 5, um, and a superb battery life, and those are the things that I really need, and it's stable, um, things don't crash when I'm using it. So I'm a happy camper and uh, I recommend this ROM highly and uh, my um, sincere thanks go to um, Lord Echo for creating this and putting the time in and uh, suggest that if you use it that you do um, recognise his efforts and just give him some sort of donation even if it's five dollars or something like that um, every bit helps. So thanks for watching the video and um, God bless you.